Hello, this is a chapter 5 video looking at uh, Java class libraries and interfaces versus implementation. So, um, within the Java class library, there's lots and lots of classes and lots of methods uh, to try and make things easier for you. Um, a lot of these classes are often interconnected, so let's have a look at the uh, Java class library. So, here's our, um, uh, our Java API. Um, and you'll see here that I've got the string class um, up in the details pane. Now on the left hand side here we've got all of the classes in um, in Java. Now there's absolutely lots and lots and lots of these classes and in there you'll find the string. Now some of these classes here are related to each other and are interrelated and are sort of uh, used together. Um, so what um, we do in Java in the top left window here um, is we bundle a lot of classes into what are known as packages. Now packages um, contain all of these interrelated classes. So if we look at, Java, at the string um, class, for example, we'll see that the string class is stored um, in the java.lang package. So let's have a look at the java.lang package at the top here, which is here. So if we click on java.lang, you'll see in the bottom left here, the classes here have just are now just the classes which are in the java.lang um, package. So all of these classes here are then all usable if you import java.lang. So those are the packages. Um, if you want to have a tutorial packages, then all you've got to do is simply type in Java tutorial packages in Google, enter that, hit the top link, um, and then there's a little tutorial on packages. Now what you can do yourself as well is if you create a number of um, interrelating classes, then you too can also create a package to store those classes in. But more about that later. In terms of reading the class documentation, um, then as you've seen, it's all in HTML based format and readable in a web browser. Now later, I'm going to teach you how to use Java doc, which means you can create your own class library as well. So people and yourself can use your classes and objects in the future and not need to go in and look at the actual code. Um, all of these classes together um, will um, um, are used in that API, the application programmer's interface. Um, and so, as we've seen, it looks something like that. Now, when we come to um, using this, um, uh, using the classes which are pre-written for us, we use the interface. So what we do is we try to abstract ourselves away from the implementation. We're not interested in how it works. We're just inter interested in how to use it. So that is the interface. So when it comes to the interface, um, this is where we look at the documentation. And the documentation includes all of what you see on the, dis on the screen there. Um, return values, parameters, how each of the methods and what each of the methods do. And so that is known as the interface of the class. Um, often when architects design code, they'll provide um, the interface um, between each of the classes so that the actual coders um, and the writers of the code will have a sort of a structure to, to adhere to. So that's what the interface is. The implementation is the bit that we're not interested in. This includes things like private fields, private methods, and the actual source code of methods. Um, we're not interested in how that works on the classes within the API. We're just interested into um, into using it and how we can how we can make uh, make use of those classes. As we said before, the classes are organised into these packages, um, and to use these packages, you've got to use the import statement. Um, and for our string, um, for example, we can use the import Java dot lang package. Um, we can, um, if we want to use um, another package, so here we've got the util package, java.util package, we can import just the a class itself, so in this case this is just the array list, or we can import all of the um, classes from that um, package. Um, you'll have also seen that um, some of the classes are parameterized classes. Parameterized class is like an array list, and we're going to see that other classes which we're going to work with in terms of collections are also parameterized. So they, at uh, definition, they will need a parameter to specify what type is going to be stored within them. So this short video has given a, a quick look at the extensive um, class library in Java, um, and you must be start to get familiar with this library. So every time we mention a new class, have a look at it in the library. Um, the documentation will tell us the interface of the class. It will not tell us the implementation. Um, and it's you need to know that some of the classes are parameterized. Um, and they're also known as generic classes or generic types, and we've seen that previously. 
Okay, so just to get your head around that, um, some exercises here where you can have a, um, a consideration. It says with a partner there, but um, you can do it on your own and then we'll look at that in, in class. Some string methods and some extension exercises there for you as well. Okay, see you in the next video.